G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna be reviewing this fantastic Mercedes 420 SEL from 1989. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you like this kind of content with the occasional car review like this, and my own cars, a cute little MG Midget from 1970, a Mercedes SLK from 2008, and a gorgeous Maserati Gran Turismo from 2013. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So in this episode, we're gonna take a look at this classic old luxury barge from the 1980s. This obviously is the W126 version of uh, the Mercedes S-Class. Uh, it was released in 1979. Uh, it was given a bit of a facelift in uh, 1986, and it really was from that golden era of Mercedes when it was the uh, engineers that drove the uh, design and not the accountants. And it really is built like an absolute tank. And in this video, we're just gonna take a look around the outside, have a look uh, in the boot and under the bonnet, and then we'll get it out on the road and see what it's like to drive. So the first thing you notice about this beautiful car is the uh, is the imposing scale of it. It's a, it's a large car. It's a wonderful old luxury barge. Um, those wonderful manhole wheels, as they were called, they were part of the facelift. Uh, as were some new um, design for the side panels here. Smoother design. Lots of chrome just setting off those windows. And there you can see the, uh, the length of that uh, back door compared to the front one is uh, what distinguishes the V126 from the W126, the, the long wheelbase version. Um, we'll have a look inside in a minute, but it does have so much, so much space. I know I say this a lot with these Mercedes from the 80s, late 80s and 90s, but they, they have aged remarkably well. I mean, you can tell it's a car from back then, but it still looks smart. It still looks amazingly uh, smooth and well-designed. This is a Bruno Sacco uh, design. He's an absolute legend in Mercedes circles, designed so many of their absolute classic shapes. And he really pulled it off here with the... Uh, the 126. This is the 420 SEL, and this was the facelifted version of the 380, which was uh, the launch model. Um, they increased the uh, capacity slightly. I think it was slightly uh, bored out, I think, from memory, um, just to give it that extra uh, capacity and a little bit extra power. Um, but really just a stunning example here. I know um, Phil has uh, put a hell of a lot of time and money into putting this back into you know, the best possible condition. He's a bit like me when, when, when you come to these kind of things. You never want to see these cars uh, you know, not in tip-top condition and um, you just end up spending way too much money to put them right. But uh, the result at the end is, is, is something special. Uh, this car is in a color uh, called Smoke Silver, a very nice color, very desirable, um, matched with a cream interior uh, that we'll see in a minute. And uh, absolutely gorgeous interior as well, stunning to drive. Just one of the best examples that you could find. Let's have a look in the boot. It's a pretty spacious boot. It does have a little bit of a high lip here compared to maybe some of the more modern cars, but lots of space. 
very, very practical boot. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. And there's that very nicely presented 4.2 litre uh, V8. Um, this one uh, puts out about 220 horsepower, roughly, and has about uh, 325 newton meters of torque. Um, so it's not hugely powerful given its capacity, but, um, but incredibly smooth and perfectly uh, sufficient for, uh, for average driving. And uh, you can see the uh, engine bay is in very tidy condition. It's got full service history uh, going way back. So having a look inside these beautifully made doors, it's actually the same color scheme as my um, W124 uh, 260E with the smoke silver and uh, the cream interior. Uh, the doors, beautifully uh, kind of ruched leather here. Cream interior, very similar set out of dials to the uh, to my W124. Uh, very clear, simple. You've got a clock and rev counter on the right, speedo in the middle, and then you've got uh, fuel, temperature, oil pressure, and an economy gauge. Got the Mercedes uh, grip handle uh, park brake uh, with your lights control there. Wipers and indicators on the stalk. Um, got a cruise control here. Uh, you've got a single zone climate control here. And uh, Phil has uh, put a, an original Becker uh, radio in here just to give it that fully original touch. And it's all working perfectly with the electric antenna as well. You've got a four speed automatic transmission and uh, electric windows and um, mirror controls here. And I found out what this is um, when I was doing my 124. That is a fader for front and back speakers. Got the glove box there with the uh, service history here, which goes all the way back. Lots of stamps in the service book as you can see always a good sign got a powered sunroof as well tilt and slide sunroof just in really excellent condition all round so opening these enormous doors in the back you can see just how much space and leg room there is here and see the size of those doors Gives you so much leg room. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yes, there is loads of room back here. Very, very comfortable indeed. You can see just how much room there is. Oh, I can barely reach the seat in front. <laughs> loads of leg room. Ah, yes, very relaxing. Right, let's fire the 4.2 litre into life. Starts first time on the button. Twist to release the handbrake. And off we go. Ah, oh, the S-Class. You can't beat it, can you? I mean, really, even back in the 1980s they were the epitome of luxury and build quality and it's still got a nice bit of pep when you put your foot down which is it's not what this car's about really it just needs enough power to to be able to be effortless but doesn't need to be hugely fast if you want something fast check out my video up here that i did on the e55 uh, that was a fantastic car if you want a bit more spice but this is all about luxury so obviously this is a big car uh, and you do feel it um, but 
it does very well to conceal its size. Suspension is great. It's got this um, self-leveling suspension in the rear. Um, Phil spent a lot on getting that uh, all sorted. Um, has also spent a lot on the fuel system, getting that sorted as well. Really has uh, had an amazing amount of work uh, on this car. I think it really is a testament to the build quality of the Mercedes from this era that they do survive in such fantastic condition. Um, the materials are all so well chosen and such high quality that they they just wear so well and um, that's why this car looks so remarkable and it is you know 30 plus years old everything works on this car which is which is really unusual um, so so many of these cars from this era they've got something that doesn't work whereas I think everything works here the air conditioning works the radio works the uh, self-leveling suspension has all been sorted um, so yeah it's a it's a really really well sorted car um, this is a model from uh, 1989 so it's the facelift um, it's done uh, it's done quite a few k's uh, 294 um, thousand k's but those are genuine documented k's so this kind of car in this kind of condition you're really going to be struggling to find one um, in this kind of condition, uh, they are getting harder and harder to find. Really, they just need to be maintained well, and uh, if that's not done, then they can uh, deteriorate quite rapidly. But this one has been looked after so well and uh, has that documented service history. So if you're looking for one of these old um, S-classes, especially this one, which is the V126, uh, that you couldn't do much better than this one. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video of the uh, V126 uh, Mercedes 420 uh, SEL from 1989. It is an absolutely fantastic car. Uh, as I say, it's available for sale right now at uh, Unique Motor Garage. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, go and have a chat to Phil. Uh, it really is in spectacular condition. He's put a lot of money into it to make it, you know, the best one that you can possibly buy and uh, it's just ready to turn the key and drive away. So thanks very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber and hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram down here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.